What's up, YouTube? I know it's been a long time since I've given you guys a good plan update, and I thought I'll have some free time today. I'll go over stuff in the back patio. As most of you know, I'm going to be leaving, and this stuff is going to stay here. All but, I think, these two. I may take those with me. I don't know. I'm, or I might just start over fresh. I feel that's fitting for a new place. But, uh, yeah. Here is chocolate marugas hanging all over. This is one of the pods I will be putting in my giveaway box. If you haven't already done so, go subscribe and comment on my giveaway video so you can be entered to win a small flat rate shipping box full of super hots and other pods that I'm growing back here. Here I have two very young. Seven pot bubblegum times nagas. If you follow along, you know I planted these way back. And I have two little baby ones right here I've topped to compare some growth. I may actually end up taking those with me. I don't know. Here we have some monster nagas. Beautifully red colored pods. A bunch of ahi amarillos and whatever this is was sold to me from a largely known pepper company we'll call it uh pj's to avoid bashing anybody but sold to me as a scotch bonnet produced pods that look like that mostly but <clears throat> there's zero heat to them whatsoever nothing sweet as can be I have no idea what it is if you think you know what it is tell me but i don't plan on growing it again largely disappointed and i that have six plants and every one of them not scotch bonnet down here we have the bubba as you know i didn't know what this would produce it's uh it's a, around a jalapeno heat level not bad i mean nothing that i would you know Nothing to brag about, but still pretty cool. <clears throat> Here is the Jay's Peach Go Scorpion. As you can see, just dominating the pod count from all my plants. This thing is ridiculous. So many ripe pods, can't do anything with them. So whoever wins the contest, expect to have a ton of these in the box. Hope you like ghost peppers. Here we have the ahi mango on the floor, some storm damage to it, knock the top out of it. Well, you know, things happen. And this, uh, if you remember, this was supposed to be my uh, ghost, my red ghost plant from Amazon that I was given back some time ago, an old roommate. And I'll let you see here for yourself. I'm pretty sure I did some research with the company and they also do a Trinidad Maruga Scorpion in those kits and if I had to guess <laughs> it looks a lot like a Maruga Scorpion to me but I'm fine with it. it's another super I love them here is my seven pot bubblegum times Naga ended up uh, so far producing these mustardy yellow pods I don't know if they're gonna get any more yellow Never really grown this out. The uh, website uh, said they were unstable, but the pictures posted were red, so you never know really what you're going to get with that kind of stuff. But I like it nonetheless. Beautiful pods hanging in wads. Here is the Butch T Trinidad Scorpion next to it. Tons and tons of pods. I've pulled, uh, I can't even tell you how many I've harvested off this plant. Ah, uh, it's up in the 20s. Beautiful looking pods. That's a really good one. Typical butch tea shape. And the Reaper. Here's the one that was featured on my Google Plus page. With the crazy tail. And it's starting to get a little color to it. Hopefully be ripened soon. 
Got quite a few pods on here. Never really tried a fresh reaper, so it might be a first. I may uh, freeze some and take them with me to my new place and let you guys watch me die. <laughs> Um, if you're noticing, I got some there's watermelons. I had a ton in the harvest. Got some over here too. We've got um, Charleston Grays, Sugar Babies, Crimson Sweets, a um, bunch of tomatoes. They're about to rot. Need to do something with. Here was my uh, alleged winter project. My yellow seven pot brain strains. These are on the maybe list to take with me to my new place. Here's one in a large double cup. This is my, this is another seven pot bubble gum times Naga. Just a little baby that I've topped back. You can see all the new growth. This is about a week and a half after the topping. These have bounced back like crazy. And as you'll do a little comparison to these over here, these haven't been topped. But given that it's an unstable strain, I would be willing to bet that, uh, they're uh, they're gonna grow differently. They're all gonna be a little different. I wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get some different colors out of them as well. All right, guys, these are just some of the uh, some of the pods that I've got going on back here. Next, I'm gonna take you back to the other backyard and see my plants in the fabric pods. They uh, they're starting to get a lot of pods on them. Nowhere near ripened yet. I probably won't see them ripen while I'm here because I'm leaving at the end of the month. But I'm sure if my father would be nice enough to send me some, he could uh, take some of the flat rate shipping boxes that I have and send me some to my new place in North Carolina. All right, I will join you back momentarily in the other backyard. And we are here to my other little grow spot. If you watched the last videos, you can definitely see the difference in uh, the size of these plants. There's four over there, but it looks like one massive bush from here. I've got them in the corner because they were in the direct sunlight and they got really wilty. They dry out like crazy because the fabric pots, as most of you know, it helps aerate the roots. But a lot of the times aerating the roots just means a lot of watering. <laughs> but I'm really happy with how these plants grew. I'm sad that I won't get to see the pods ripen, but let's take a look at some of them. Here we have... The Jay's Chocolate Ghost Scorpion X. Some interesting looking pods coming on. Back behind it, I have a yellow seven pot brain strain. Pretty little pods. Over here is the yellow seven pot infinity. All different kinds of shapes out of this bad boy. And in the back, we have Mr. Dave Miner's strain of the Chocolate Bootla. The Chocolate Bootla DM. <laughs> I just, I'm still amazed at this massive bush <laughs> that's back here. Uh, they've grown great. These fabric pots are awesome. Like, like I said, I got them off Amazon. They're pretty reasonably priced. I think it was like 15 bucks for five of them. <clears throat> so um, that's all I have for you today. It's going to be back to packing and doing all that fun moving stuff now. Until next time, guys.